Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at AbbVie's stock price and the underlying business to see if it meets value investment criteria. And we're going to look at some of the company's financial figures and do a calculation to see what the stock should be worth. To start we want to look at the profit before tax and expenses. This will tell us the margin or percentage of money a company keeps before tax and expenses. 40% or more is desired here, very close to 40 is okay as well. Next we want to look at the profit after tax and expenses. This is a measure of a company's net profitability and we are looking for 20% or higher. Next up is retained earnings. Here we want to see steady growth. If it's not growing steadily then the money the company is earning is not consistent year on year and can be a result of volatility. Next is the return on equity. This is a measure of the profitability of a business in relation to the equity or money the company has. Generally 15-20% to 20 is good, uh, but it can vary between industries. Next we want to see if the company can pay off its debt in less than 4 years. The shorter time to pay off the debt, the better. Next we want to calculate the capital expenditure to income ratio. The lower the better, so less than 25% is great and less than 50% is acceptable here. Okay, for Abvi they failed in 4 out of 6 of the categories I would be staying away from this stock. Also I want to set a goal of 100 subscribers by January 1st 2022. If you can help me reach this I would really appreciate it and remember subscribing is free and you can always unsubscribe in the future. Okay, to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock, I've got the EPS growth rate and PE ratio from Yahoo Finance. For Avvi, the financials were not very good and the stock is currently selling for much over its intrinsic value of $54.68. Also, a quick legal disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and this should not be taken as financial advice. Please consider talking to a financial advisor before making investment decisions.